Now that we've walked through all of the SimCity games and even talked about the spin-offs it created, how much more is there to say? Well, there are still some things that we can say. What is the legacy of SimCity? What sort of effect has it had on the people that played it during those sleepless nights where you were just so adamant about making sure each tile was right to keep your city booming? I would say a lot. It's a game that didn't just encourage, but rewarded looking at the fine details, managing, micromanaging, engineering, and designing solutions as you saw fit. It was a way for us to be creative with tools given to us by someone that just wanted to be creative himself. SimCity was created as an idea in building what you want to build however you want it. And that's exactly what it turned out to be. On a side note, I don't know if this applies to their legacy per se, but what's interesting to me is there had actually always been an explicitly political bent to the SimCity series. Insofar as Jeff Braun actually said this outright seemingly in a tongue-in-cheek bluntness that we're pushing political agendas. The examples of this are how it pushes mass transit and showed disapproval for nuclear power, emulating the environmentalist message that was common back in the 80s and 90s. But what about Will Wright? What is he up to today? Well, he actually has some really interesting projects going on right now, with some sort of AI-focused game that I'm excited to see. Beyond that, though, what does the future look like for SimCity and city builders as a whole? Well, currently Maxis hasn't released a new game since The Sims 4 in 2014, and SimCity 2013 the year before that. In 2015, they announced that they had to close their Emeryville studio, and EA said that they would be consolidating the Maxis team and moving them to work alongside EA Mobile. Currently, for SimCity Build It, a freemium mobile game developed by Track20 and published by EA seems to be all the series has in store for us for the foreseeable future. That doesn't mean we couldn't see a return of the SimCity series as it was, but it seems unlikely. But if you're watching this video, I'm sure you already know that all is not lost. The city building genre's torch, while it may have been dropped, has been picked up by a new competitor Cities Skylines. Developed by Colossal Order and published by Paradox Interactive, City Skylines was released in 2015 to critical acclaim, selling 6 million copies across all of its platforms, making it just as, if not more successful than many of the SimCity entries. Although gameplay is different than that of SimCity, it is considered by most to be the spiritual successor to the SimCity series providing a more in-depth simulation for the city than any other game has offered before. While the vast amounts of DLC, something that Paradox has become very much associated with, holds the game back, in my opinion, from being absolutely legendary, it is still an incredible game. One that has managed to be engaging, fun, and challenging. All elements that made the first four SimCity games so entertaining as well. While I personally will always have a soft spot for SimCity 3000 and SimCity 4, I can honestly say that no game deserves the title Spiritual Successor to SimCity more than Cities Skylines. That being said, we can never forget where it all started, with one man from Atlanta, Georgia, and his dream to make the world his sandbox, which gave the ability for millions of kids and adults across the world to dream right alongside him. Thank you for watching me throughout this whole series. The SimCity series is something that has meant a lot to me for many years, and so I'm glad I finally have an outlet to talk about it. Mr. Wright, if you happen to see this, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to play these incredible games. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed my video, and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on to see more of my content.
Leave a comment with your thoughts on this video or topics for the future, and if you're interested, I've also made plenty of other videos, so go check those out too. This has been Historical Hindsight, and I'll be seeing you soon.